Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So today, Pisces, you guys got armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries in reverse. This could talk about like you not being good with boundaries, like you feeling like you have to, how do I explain it? Like if somebody um, like isn't being there for you, you feel like instead of you taking a step back and letting them come to you, you're like coming to them and like, what's wrong? Like you're basically doing all the work, right? And they're kind of like, no, you're supposed to be healthy in your own boundaries and you're supposed to let them come to you. If they're not putting in the work, if they're not there, then that's that's a them problem, not a you problem. That's not something that you should have to solve either, right? It's like, it's not your problem, you know? Again, this could just be a call that you guys need to set better boundaries in your own like relationships. I mean, this has to do with relationships with the ring, right? So this could just be that, like, you guys have to set healthier boundaries. Like, you have to, you know, if somebody, if you say to somebody, you know, um, this is what I need, this is what I expect, and they don't complete it, then it's like, and that's what I feel like is going on here. I feel like someone's just not completing what they said they would do, or someone's not acting the right way, and it's making you anxious, right? Like, the birds can talk about gossip, it can talk about anxiety, and I feel like it's making you nervous because it's like, what the fuck, is, what are they doing, right? So, like, I think the normal Pisces thing is to run to them, right, and say, hey, like, what's going on, you know? Like, what? why haven't I heard from you, or like, why are you acting this way, like... And I, I kind of really like that. I mean, I am from New York, so, like, I appreciate people who are, like, direct, and I don't, like, really have time for people who are, like, playing games and shit. So I understand this a lot. Like, I would be the type of person, like, yo, what's going on? Like, just say it. You know what I mean? I don't need you to waste my time. But in this instance, Pisces, they're saying, this is not your problem. <laughs> like, yeah, you can communicate to this person and be like, yo, what's up? But it's not about solving the problem. It's about, like, you just sitting back and seeing what's going on, you know what I mean? And letting this person take care of their problems. Because I feel like this anxiety and this this bullshit around this relationship has not anything to do with you. I feel like it has to do with somebody else. And I think maybe maybe they're confused, right? Let's just say. May, or maybe they're just like going through something. It's something that they have to come to you and tell you, you know what I mean? It's not something that you have to like, I feel like you're just like a mother, you're like a nurturer, you know what I mean? You just want to be there for them. You want to help them. This is like not that time. That's what I'm getting. It's not. It's like their responsibility to come to you and tell you what's going on. It's their responsibility to fix things. It's their responsibility to meet you halfway. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not your responsibility to, you know, <laughs> um, put in all this work. And I feel like that's making you anxious because maybe you are taking a step back and you are chilling out and you're just seeing what's going to happen. And that's making you very anxious like that's giving you a lot of anxiety and it's making you very like nervous but i think this is the actual way you should do it let's pull more though and see if i'm right threes and sevens might be important we have two threes and a seven here and a seven here um okay let's pull more I love this freaking read for you, Pisces, because I feel like it's very much not in your nature, like, to do this. It's not in your nature. It's not in your nature to not tell this person, like, hey, what's up? Like, what can I do to help you? I want to be there for you. It's not in your nature. Like, you are the type of person that's like, I want to be there for you. I want to help you figure things out. Like, I, and it's not even, like, it's not because you're desperate or anything like that. No, that's just who you are. You're a nurturer. I kept saying a mother, a nurturer, and then you got the mother. Exactly. Like, that's just who you are. You are just such a kind person. You care about, you put others, you know, you put others not even ahead of you, but like very close. To, people who are close to your heart, you put, you know, you put a lot of time into these people. And I'm getting this energy of like, you care about this person a lot, especially with the engagement ring, like you care about them. Either you want a higher level of commitment with them or this is somebody that you really like have a lot of love for. And I think this is somebody that you want to be with pro probably, right? So it's kind of like, let me help them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And spirit is like, no, it's not like I'm getting no. Like see choices in reverse. The choice isn't yours right now to make. The choice is theirs. And nothing is really blocking you at this point. 
and nothing is technically blocking them either. The real thing that like, but this is not your responsibility. This is their responsibility. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not your problem in a sense. And you're like, well, it is my problem because they're like not talking to me or they're just, they're unattached. I mean, they're acting detached. You know what I mean? It is my problem. I want to know what's going on. And again, you could ha you could send out that message of like, hey, what's going on? Like, what's like, what's up? You could, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I just wouldn't. Because I feel like they're like, now's the time to use your intuition. And your intuition, I feel like, is telling you to just let the shit go for right now. Like, let it go. Like, if they come towards you, which I feel like they will with the youth card here. Like, I feel like they will be the ones to come to you. Like, let them come to you, Pisces. Like, I think it's not your normal approach, though. Your normal approach is like, what can I do to help? I want to, like, you You don't have any, like, you know how people play a lot of games with texting and they're, like, always, like, oh, like, who texted who first and all this bullshit. Like, you're not that type of person at all. You're just, like, you're a concerned person. You're going to hit them up. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying to not be concerned and I'm not saying, like, to not care about this person, but I'm saying it's, like, it's their move. It's their, it's their choice. You know what I mean? And it's, like, it's not, it's not, like, if they don't choose you, it's no skin off your back is that the way they say it it's it's like it's like it's not your like who gives a fuck do you know what i'm saying it shouldn't even matter to you whether they choose you or not because you're the empress and yeah i think technically it would work in your favor to hit them up because then they're kind of like put into your air your energy field right and that's like exactly what you want because you want to be closer to this person i see that with the engagement ring. like you want this person to be close to you so it's like but is that a form of manipulation, Pisces? I don't think so, honestly. I just don't think that you're like that type of person. I think you actually just give a fuck and you want to see how they're doing. You want to see what's going on. But this is not your choice. Like even hitting them up, I don't even know if they'll answer or if they'll have a good answer because I feel like they're trying to figure something out. And I do think that they will figure it out and they will come to you with the youth card. Like they will come to you. I think this is like just a, a message to somebody like be at ease right now body and mind i love that you have these two cards this is like my favorite card one of my favorite cards right it's like you're balanced you're aligned and you know what you should and shouldn't do you know what you can and cannot do and you just know what's like worth your fucking time and i just feel like this is not your choice to make like choice card is coming up in here it's not your choice to make like this person could choose you they could not choose you but it's not your decision at the end of the day and they know you're there like, I think it's like, you're like, well, they, they don't know I'm around. So maybe if I hit them up, no, they know you're there. I'm a hundred percent sure they know. <laughs> Trust me. They know they're making a decision right now. They have to make this choice. They have to do these things. And it's like, it has nothing to do with you. So do something that you would never really do and just kind of be silent <laughs> and let them make that choice and let them do what they need to do to figure it out. At the end of the day, you're you're freaking the empress with the seven of wands this is like you're highly intuitive right now like you're highly like i think you know this i think you know they'll choose you or i think you know that this could lead to a high level of commitment but whatever it actually ends up being whether it's not for you wh whether they don't choose you or they do choose you it's like you will always be the empress you will always be this very like high priestess energy do you know what i'm saying and it's like, if they don't choose you, then it's their loss. You know what I'm saying? Then it's not meant for you and you'll find something better. And if it is meant for you, then they will choose you. But this is like that idea that like, oh, I have to remind them that I exist. I have to remind them that I'm around. No, you don't. They know you're here. <laughs> they know. They 100% know. So whatever they're going through, let them figure it out. Like I would not, I really wouldn't approach them. Like I really wouldn't. Like I know it's so not in your, um, <laughs> I know it's not something you would normally do Pisces, but like I wouldn't let's pull a little bit more on them because i feel like you're the empress you're chilling so it's like i'm not concerned about you i will be concerned if you guys don't listen to my message and you're just like i'm gonna text them anyway and i'm gonna make sure they're okay and then I, they won't forget about me like they know you're there they know you're probably waiting for a response and they, or they know like that you're kind of waiting for them to hit you up like they know these things like i know they know <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like they do, especially with the ring here. It's like, I think they know what you want. So it's like, why are they playing games? Because they have shit to figure out. Are you going to help them figure it out by messaging them? No. I, I don't think so, personally. I, I don't. Because again, I why do I think that? Because of set healthy boundaries in reverse. 
like this card is the one that's prompting me to say like no i think it's time for you to set a healthy boundary and let them figure shit out do you feel me the youth give me give me another choice yeah see four of wands like higher level of commitment it's their choice at the end of the day you might be dealing with an earth sign a Taurus, virgo or a capricorn yeah so see we all we know what you want we know what you want i think i think this person knows what you want you know what you want ten of pentacles like we get married we have a bunch of kids we you know we settle down together this is what i want they know that they 100 percent know that and i think i think this is something if you haven't accepted or you don't you haven't owned up to it this is the energy that you have to like if they were to ever if they were to text you right let's just say they were to text you because they want to know what you're feeling they want to know where you're like they just want to know what you want right like maybe they're coming out of a relationship and they you know let's just say they want to have a good time <laughs> i mean like they just want like a rebound right they know that you're not a rebound so if they were to even stay away let them because you don't want to be this person's rebound like you don't <laughs> right and this person i don't think they're going to hit you up to be honest for anything but this because they know this is what you want like they know you want the ring they know you want the commitment they know you want the marriage they know you want the kids and the grandkids and the whole the whole thing like they know so it's kind of like don't there's no need for you to hit them up <laughs> like there's no need for you to hit them up be like how are you doing oh do you remember me like they know exactly what you want let's just say that you and this person are dating and they kind of like think that things are moving too fast they know what you want like that's how i keep getting they know what you want i've always known that from the beginning they're like they know exactly what you want and they don't need you to like hit them up to remind them <laughs> or you know what i mean like again they might hit you up and ask you something but this person knows what you want so it's like it, it would be dumb for them to even do that like unless they're 100 percent wanting this with you then they should just go away and i think that's what they're trying to figure out right now okay pisces let's see what they do with the youth card but like yeah magicians here with higher friend i think this is gonna have a positive outcome for you guys okay but let's keep pulling youth what's the youth card yeah see i don't see them leaving this eight of cups in reverse yeah they they cannot walk away from an empress like they'd be so fucking dumb to do that i mean but they have that choice they have that choice to not really give a fuck and go into page one's energy which is like i just want to have a good time i just want to start over again i just and that's their choice remember like we have it's not your decision they also have that choice to go into that relationship with you i feel like they know what you want and they know what you deserve and i don't think that they're going to come to you towards you if they are not in the same page so if this person disappears or this person goes to whatever they want you to feel like it's because this person was not ready for this it's because this person didn't want the same things as you and why is that because this person and why is that because this person might want to like start over again be rebounding i mean page energy is like pretty whack you know what i mean it's not it's not whack but it's like you know it's not an emperor you know what i mean it's not anybody that's like it's not anybody that's serious right it's not somebody who wants to like have a baby and you know get married this is somebody who wants to like play the field right so if they want to go in that direction that's their choice and honestly i feel like you obviously don't want them to go in that direction you want them to stick around you want a high level of commitment but if this person cannot give that to you they're not going to hit you up what is this person going to decide because like high friends in reverse here with the magician so it's kind of like i don't think they would dare to take advantage of you to be honest i don't think they would because they know what you're trying to manifest so if anything i think they're just going to take themselves out of the equation which i actually think is a really nice thing to do from a person because it's like they're not if they're not wanting the same things that you want then why why put you through you know the fuckery of them sleeping around like it's just not fair to you right Is this their, what's this person going to choose? What do, what do they choose at the end of the day? What do they decide on? 
What does this person choose? Nothing's coming out, which makes me feel like they haven't even made that decision yet. Or it could go either way. Okay, Knight of Coins with the Ace of Cups. With the Ten of Cups, with the Ace of Wands. Holy shit. Okay, I think this person will choose you. I do. Now, this might not be for everybody, so please, like, I don't want to, like, you know, for some of you, maybe this person's not going to choose you and is going to choose to be, like, off and, you know, out and about in that player energy, you know? Maybe they do choose that. Like, for some of you, I think they will. I'm not going to lie. I don't think every single one of you is going to get this Ten of Cups with this person. I don't think so. Like, to be honest, it just because this was an option like this fell out as an option that they could choose so they can choose you know judgment in reverse with the page of wands like fuck this i don't want to have to deal with pisces i know what pisces wants i can't give it to them right now i don't want to hear Pi i don't want to hurt pisces one and two i don't want to be like the person that's like holding pisces back from their dreams like your pisces is manifesting a real one a real connection and i'm not going to be the one to put put take that away from them or waste their time right so like i do feel like some of you will not hear from this person and that's for a reason and you do feel anxious and nervous because you don't know what they're going to choose and some of them will not choose i mean i don't what's right and wrong what's right for them right, right now especially if like they just broke up with someone or if they're like maybe they're just a shitty person i don't know everybody's dealing with a different person but like some of them are not ready to settle down like they're not and they're not gonna tell you they are and they're gonna kind of just tell you you know like i'm just i'm just going I, i'm just kind of not ready for all that like peace out or they might say anything and they just might disappear let them disappear for others of you they might choose you like they will like i feel like for some of you they will and if they don't, then somebody will choose you and somebody will give you your Ten of Cups and somebody will give you your Ace of Cups and somebody will give you your Ace of Wands. You know what I'm saying? It's like there will be somebody who will give you this if it's not them. For some of you, it will be this person and they will do this for you. And for some of you, they will not. It depends where this person's at. Like, honestly, if this person just broke up with someone, I don't see that. Like, let's just say like they literally just broke up with someone like a week ago. I don't see that being I don't see them being this because like who the hell is ready to get into like a marriage when they're like just broke up with somebody right like nobody is not even you Pisces like you broke up with someone you need some time like let's be real for others of you like if they didn't just break up with someone and they're just kind of nervous about this high level of commitment I think that's more for the people that are like gonna actually go towards this person working with them but like they're gonna be like yo you need to take it slow because knight of knight of coins is like we need to go as slow as possible like i'm the slowest moving knight in the entire deck i will 100 percent give you this like i'm 100 percent sure i can give you this but i'm slow like not slow like that but i need to work slowly like i can't be as fast as maybe you are but i am gonna give you everything that you want so it really depends on who you're dealing with, Pisces. Please decipher. Again, if you have someone who just went through a breakup, I don't see them being like, they're not this person. They're not. And if you never hear from this person again, just know that like somebody else is going to give you what you want. You know what I mean? But it wasn't this person and it's not this person for a reason because this person is out and about wanting to start their lives all over again, right? So, you know, when someone wants to start their life all over again, they're like a teenager. You know what I mean? That's what Page of Wands kind of reminds me of. They're like a teenager running around. Um, they want to drink, they want to meet new people, they want, you know, whatever. And that's not, you're not in that boat at all. This is what you want, <laughs> you know what I mean? So if this person doesn't hit you up, it's for a reason. They're not ready for what you want. They can't give you what you want and it's actually like a blessing in disguise, let them go. And if this person does hit you up, it's because they do know that they can give this to you, okay? <sighs> let them decide though. Again, I feel like this is just like, let them decide. Um, they know what you want, though. It's not something you have to reiterate. Let's pull you some advice, Pisces. Oh, my God. So, I just, I, I got Fatima. And when I get Fatima, I'm going to tell you what I think it means. And then I'm going to read from the book because it's so, like, on point. The mother of imams, love is my lineage, lineage and gratitude is my religion. When I get this card, sometimes I feel like religious differences could be at play here. Like, that's kind of when I get this card. So, that's another thing that I didn't even think about. But, like, let's just say you and this person don't end up together. It could be, like, if you're two different religions, that could be, like, a reason why somebody wants to hold back. Somebody's like, oh, you know, religion is, like, an issue. That's just for some of you or maybe one of you. Now, I want you to hear 
what this what the book says about it nurturing protecting and taking care of the ones we love is a sacred occupation (laughs) that's exactly who i feel like you are pisces and i feel like you want to i think like you want to have that family or that lineage that you can create because you have a ton of pentacles here and a ton of cups so it's like this is what you want you know what i mean this is what you're looking for this is a type of love that like and you are nurture you are protecting you love to take care of those people so it's like it's really hard for you to tell this person or to see this person struggle about choosing you you know what i mean because you have so much to give and you have so much to offer but i think let's see it's let's see what else it says before i keep talking the role of a housewife or a stay-at-home mom is sacred if it's consciously chosen it is a profound contribution to raise and reconstitute the world there is a legacy of love that can be inherited by the whole family from such undivided attention and presence fatima restores the significance and importance to the spiritual path of motherhood yeah so i really just feel like a lot of you guys like you really want like this is what you want (laughs) you know what i mean like this is what you want you want a higher level of commitment whether it means having kids or not like maybe you want to adopt maybe you actually want to have kids maybe you just want to like take care of your own kids maybe you have kids already and like you want this person to be a part of your family you know what i mean like you want this person to come around for christmas or thanksgiving whatever and it's like this person trust me they know (laughs) they know and they're thinking about that right now that's like literally what they're thinking about like do i want to be in this person's family do i want to be in this person's life do I want to have kids with this person? Like, maybe this person doesn't want to have kids, you know what I mean? Or maybe this person doesn't want to get married. I don't think they want to take these opportunities away from you. And I think you deserve all the opportunities in the world, Pisces. And I don't think you should settle for anyone. So, again, just be very conscious of, like, your energy right now. Don't chase anybody. Just let them come to you. If they don't, If you don't hear from this person they were not ready they didn't want to take that leap of faith with you into a high level of commitment and that's okay because like they're just not meant for you (laughs) you know what i mean they're just not it is what it is okay i love you pisces i hope this helps i'll see you guys next time